Let's cut him! Hey folks, Brian Backcountry here, and thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're hunting in central Minnesota, and we're hunting some Minnesota mallards. And this is a really special hunt for me, because out of all the miles I put on scouting, I rarely find a lot of mallards in one place, and that's exactly what we found on this hunt. Check out the footage, I hope you enjoy it. <coughs> Cut him. Nice. Here we go. That's a nice shot, Vinny. Nice stroke. There he is. Come on, fix that dog. This one? Yeah. Yeah. I got excited and I keep the moves. I might be excited I keep seeing the black dog. Cheap ass federal around strikes again. <laughs> 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 Quick tip, this is the same flock from the clip before and this is their first pass and as you can see they're just swinging over the decoys and right here they offer a pretty good shooting opportunity. We could have shot maybe one, two, maybe three out of that um, and they're just, mallards a lot of times want to come look and they're going to go circle out just like this flock. Here's a second flock, they're going to go out and circle, they're just taking a look and that first flock we just saw is coming back right now and as you can see they're starting to approach and right now they're really centered up offering a good shot for all the hunters we got four or five out of this flock too Let's cut him! My gun keeps jamming. Yeah, you know what? We did good there. Yeah, we did good there, boys. Hey, there's a little girl right here. <laughs> hey. Hey. That's good pretty job, cool. Job, <laughs> nice <boys>. job. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, nice job, man. I don't know. Quick tip, in this hunt, the mallards were landing in the water and they were walking up all over into this cut beating field. So what we did is we put out floater water decoys and then we put out like four to five dozen fully flocked, full body mallard decoys. And we blended a lot of those in around the blinds. Um, Try to make it look like one big group of mallards that had walked up. Um, so that helped us today, but one thing that we should have done is we forgot a shovel and we should have shoveled a lot of snow on the blinds because they looked dark and there was about a half inch of fresh snow. So that's one improvement we need to do next time. Let's cut him.
I couldn't tell right. Drake's. I couldn't tell Drake's. You better go get those, huh? Yeah. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, we shoot three. You, you can shoot three drinks? more? Yeah. Only drinks, get in, get in. Hop in. Drakes only. Here we go, right in the left, boys. Cut a Drake. I think that's a Drake. Oh. All right, I think we're good. Well, one, anyway. two, did we get three? Oh, yeah. Shot one behind us. Yeah, there's three down. We could have shot eight out of that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I shot one Drake, that's all I know. Hey. That was awesome. How long did we even shoot for? It's 750. <laughs> yeah, we. for 30 minutes total. I'll start picking up. You have a good time, Matt? Not Hey folks, so the next time you're out scouting, if you end up finding some mallards, just stop and ask if you can hunt it. Um, I hear a lot here in Minnesota from my friends and other hunters that it's really tough to get on land to hunt. There seems to be a lot of hunters and not a lot of land to hunt. A lot of times landowners or far and farmers, they have people hunting, but you at least have to stop and ask because if you don't ask, you'll never get on it no matter what. So at least give yourself that opportunity and stop and ask. Hey folks, really hope you enjoyed this video. I got one or two more waterfall hunting videos I'm gonna post and then we're gonna dive right into ice fishing. So stay tuned, thank you.